Right, we're here to show you how to program this uh, host tap timer that we have. Um, this one comes with just a small waterproof cover you slip over the top. Uh, you remove that just by pulling on there. You attach the valves here at the bottom, um, up to four valves, four stations. And let's go through the programming here. So you'll notice along the top we have the different modes we can be in. First one is set. So right now we're in the set mode. Let's um, hit confirm. So that's going to have a set first the, the date. That's the day. Confirm it's Thursday. And the time is 9.40. Right now we're going to set the days that we water. We want it to water every day, specific days of the week, every second day, or every third day. So this one we want it to be able to water every day. So we'll hit there. You'll notice a small little icon appears next to each day. All right. All right, now we know, need to go to how many minutes each station runs. So here we see the station number, station one. The minutes are flashing, so let's run station one for five minutes. Station two, let's give that also five minutes. Station three, let's give that a bit longer. We're gonna go up to 10 minutes on that one. Station four, we do the longest of all. Let's actually give that like 12 minutes. Then we've got some cycles, so cycle A, uh, the start time, let's say we have that run at 12.30 a.m. Pay particular attention to the a.m. and p.m. Um, cycle B, let's have that run, um, let's have that run at 1 o'clock a.m. And we've actually got a cycle C, we're just going to leave that one blank for now. All right, so um, if we go over to mode, move it to auto, that will set us to run, um, and we're set to go. So we'll start running our program, which is going to be every day. It's going to run each station for the amount that we've set, um, and we'll cycle through at those specific times. Now we can also water this manually by going one over mode that says manual. Hit confirm. We can do all of them. Um, we can do just specific stations. So let's say we wanted to run station three for an extra 10 minutes right now. Move that up to 10 minutes and confirm it. And we'll start running that. So we'll flash between the current time and then what's watering. You'll see the station number, the amount remaining. You'll know that that's in manual mode. Um, if you wanted to back out of that, you could just hit manual again and it will move to off. Also, we can set a rain delay. That's the final mode. We go over there, hit confirm. We can set a rain delay anywhere from one hour to 24 hours. So let's say we have rain coming for the next day. We'll just hit confirm. The delay will stay and you'll see the amount of time remaining. So we'll flash back and forth between the current time and the amount of time remaining on the delay. To exit out of that, you can just hit next. Right, we'll go to set, you can hit next, go to auto. And it's ready to go. So that's how you, uh, that's how you set this timer up, pretty simple. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.